Hello, my name's Amanda Little. Welcome back to my channel. I've been absent for a long time. Uh, I do apologise. Things have just got so busy. It's It's been crazy mad. Um, but I'm really excited to um, be back again today. And I'm just in the process of getting ready to set off to go to the John Scott studio. I'm going to be on air with John tomorrow, demonstrating my um, block of the month. It's brand new. Um, hope you'll like it. Slightly different to any block of the month, perhaps, that you've seen before. So I am just about to pop all the bits and pieces into the car and set off. My daughter Neve is kindly being my co-pilot. Um, we're actually looking forward to it. We're going to have a bit of a girly overnight stay. Um, perhaps there'll be a bit of time to have a look around. I don't know, but I did a poll on my Facebook and Instagram asking if you would like to come along on the road trip. And it was a resounding yes that you would like to see what goes on behind the scenes. So with that, I'll um, get my coat on, get my shoes on and we'll set off. We've just arrived at the Premier Inn, safe and sound. We're going to pop downstairs to the restaurant and get something to eat. So we'll check back later and maybe give you a quick look round at the room. And if we're still awake, we can have a quick look through the bags um, of all the, the products that we've brought with us. Morning. Sorry we didn't check in last night. Uh, we had a lovely meal, but then we ended up just coming upstairs, watching some TV and falling asleep. So partially ready now, I've got curls and I've got eyes. Um, we're going to go down, have some breakfast and then just pop back upstairs, pack all our bits and pieces together and then head off to the wards of the studio. So I'll check in with you later. Hello, we're just back from breakfast, the worst, <laughs> slowest breakfast in the world. Um, not much time left now, we need to get cracking, get over across to the studios. So... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to film, if anything, when we get there. It might just be a montage of, of pictures and a bit, a bit of um, inoffensive music. I, I really don't know. Um, but I'll show you after the event anyway, um, all of the products that I bought with me. And I'll catch up with you again later. So we're all done in the car ready to go back home i think it's going to take us about two two and a quarter hours to get back home we've got our goodie bag of um rocky road chocolate um it's delicious actually and thanks to kath and to richard for filming us their barn is just gorgeous the studio is in their barn it's fantastic um thanks for john um he always keeps me calm and thanks to nevi <laughs> Um, yeah, so had no time at all to show you any of the products. When we get back home and unpack the car, I'll do it properly and uh, catch up with you then. Back, safe and sound, uh, back in the workroom already. I've done two quilts since we got back. I just wanted to really quickly run through and let you have another look at the products that I took with me to John's show. These are the Arrow Crown blocks. This is block number one in the four block block of the month series. It's going to make a small quilt when it's finished, 62 inches square. 
so there'll be an I block, a B block, which next month is the best of all block, again in a traditional and a modern colourway. Next month's blocks are, um, the traditional one is more red based and the modern one is more pink based. I'm doing my best to get a, a sample quilt in both colours made up for you so you can see them. But there'll be four blocks, four 12 inch blocks and a fifth setting block, again 12 inches. And then an option of two or three different colourways of sashing and borders and binding kits for you to complete your quilt. If you didn't want to, to make the full quilt, then you can do the block and use the cushion completer kit. Um, I'll just run through really quickly. So the middle portion is the 12 inch arrow crown block and the cushion completer kit consists of the three inch wide border. And if you can see, I've done my best to pattern match for you every seam if they're sewn in the correct sequence should be pattern matched and again on the back as well the zip is pattern matched for you there's a, a zip hiding underneath there and you're coordinating binding that binding is matched to the uh, little accent squares um, all that you need to complete the kit would be the cushion form inside you've got everything else within the kit that you need so traditional arrow crown and modern arrow crown again pattern matched at all the seams and on that back see you do get the zip you get the thread um, on the traditional um, and the modern block you get a gutterman cotton thread cotton thread is the best for piecing for your patchwork but for the cushion completer kit you get gutterman sew all thread um, that's just a little bit stronger for you, you know, sort of zip insertions and, and whatnot. So they're the two A blocks. Next month, the B blocks, which is best of all. And we'll have a look now at the Plumberry Cushions. So as if by magic, here are the Plumberry Cushions. We've got two, we've got a rectangular and a square. The rectangular finishes at approximately 20 inches by 12 inches. The square cushion is 18 inches square. Both cushions, are, again, are complete kits. And there's also the option, um, they are included, but the option to either make scented sachets or perhaps coasters. Each kit has got three five and a half inch watercolour floral squares and three of the gingham squares. I've chosen to fill them with lavender. There's approximately 10 grams of lavender in each sachet. The lavender isn't actually on my website yet, but I'm gonna load that on um, for you to be able to purchase. There's approximately 10 grams of lavender, I think uh, we weighed when we were filling them in each sachet. And then I some plump um, and smell gorgeous actually. It's Yorkshire lavender, it's really strong. And it's a clean lavender as well. It's not dusty um, with, you know, sort of dirty bits in. It's, it's good clean lavender, um, just pure lavender heads. So the cushions, as I say, we've got a square cushion, a rectangular cushion. They come with this gorgeous aubergine pom-pom trim, really easy to um, insert. With all of the kits that I've done, um, I'm going to do videos, tutorials for my YouTube channel. You'll get full instructions. There's an eight page instruction booklet with each kit. But sometimes, I know I do, just need that little bit of extra help. Sometimes a picture or a, a video is, is better than the written word. So there's going to be a video hopefully uploaded on or around the 11th of November. And that will show you how to make the both eye blocks and the uh, plumberry cushions as well. I obviously have got the long arm machine, so I've quilted these. But with hindsight, I think perhaps they might look even nicer, just left smooth. I don't know whether the, um, the quilting actually disturbs the text. So the quote that we've got on the cushion is autumn, the last, uh, the year's last loveliest smile. The base of the cushions are colour matched to Farrow and Ball's Elephant's Breath. And the text is colour matched to Farrow and Ball's Brinjal, um, the, you know, sort of the, the plummy aubergine colour. Uh, again, 
the back of both of the cushions, top and bottom are pattern matched. I've done that for you so you don't need to worry. You get your YKK branded zip. Um, I've chosen to use branded zips rather than unbranded zips just because um, when you go into the trouble of making the cushion you don't want the, the zip to break. As with the other cushion kits all you'll need to complete is the cushion form itself. Um, I got mine from Dunelm. I'm sure there are other places that do similar sizes but they were just your you know cheap and cheerful cushion forms. So um, I'll tidy these away for a second. So just to remind you that the pre-orders are open until Wednesday the 28th of October, um, midnight Greenwich Mean Time. Once they've closed, I'll send all the orders off to the fabric printer and get them dispatched out to you on or before the 11th of November. I've just now got to, or want to show you just that Christmas quilt and then I think we're pretty much done. Let me know if this, you know, casual chatty style of um, blog has worked. It's a lot easier for me to edit compared to the more formal tutorials that I've got on my YouTube channel. If you find that it's OK, then I'd be more than happy to do a few more regular videos in this style and then just throw in the occasional formal tutorial for you. Let me know and um, just pop a comment in the box below. That would be great. And at the same time, if you would subscribe, that would be fantastic. Um, it's lovely that you watch the videos, but for me to, you know, sort of make this work, I could do with a few more subscribers, please. So don't be scared. Click the subscribe button. And if you wanted to as well, you can press the notification bell. And I think that then you'll get a, a note, a message every time. I post a video, um, just a little reminder, but I promise I won't annoy you too much. Um, so I'll just grab that Christmas quilt, let you have a look at that, and then I'll leave you in peace. So here's the Christmas quilt, a uh, letter from Santa panel. So in this kit, it's just purely the 45 by 60 inch panel and um, lots and lots of red binding strips. Again, the binding strips, like in the other kits, are already mitered for you. So all you need to do is just sew that diagonal seam, press the binding in half and you're ready to go. There's an option, well, a couple of options actually with this quilt. The uh, font, the uh, large font that reads Santa Claus, you can get that in black or in red. The red actually pops much more than the black in my, in my opinion. Um, really sets off that candy cane border stripe and the binding. Your binding is also included. You get plenty of binding. There's more than enough to finish the entire quilt and all the binding strips are pre-shaped with that diagonal uh, 45 degree uh, slant to them. So they'll go together really quickly, really easily. You've got the option to have it uh, personalised. Doesn't cost any extra to have it personalised. So you can have one name or multiple names. You've got quite a large area just in the uh, notes field when you order, just pop um, the details of the names that you want me to pop onto the, the, the quilt for you and whether you want to go with black or red font. On the back, now the backing and the wadding and the backing isn't included. Um, I've chosen, I've used just my standard Hobbs 8020 and I've used a white brushed cotton sheet. Again, it was possibly from Dunelm. It, it just gives it a really nice, warm, cosy feeling. You could just as easily bag it out. You, you know, if time is, is short, you could, um, for instance, I have um, long arm quilted it. I've used a pattern called Wonderland Stars and it gives it a really nice texture. It's nice and you know, sort of poofy. If you've not got access to a long arm quilting machine, um, if you're just going to be quilting on your domestic, what I would do, if you look at these candy cane stripes, they all run on the diagonal. So I would just get your ruler, get some sort of water soluble marking tool uh, or a, a hera marker maybe. And I would just simply quilt again, probably with a white thread, just straight diagonal lines across the entire quilt. You'll get that done in a day easily. Um, so it can all be, you know, sort of finished and wrapped up ready for Christmas Eve. 
if you didn't want to quilt you could um bag it out just use some minky fabric um again even from a you know sort of dunelm kind of store you could just get a, a large fleecy blanket and just either bag it out or um if it was thin enough you could potentially still get the binding on there all of the kits uh, on the website i'll be adding more in the next few weeks um it's going to be a rolling ordering system at this at the moment because i'm just you know sort of start small starter business as, as far as retail goes um i need to work a little bit like the elves and the shoemaker and it, it's just going to be printed on demand but i will be printing every month so if nothing takes your fancy this month or you know budget dictates that it's it's not doable this month don't worry everything's going to be here indefinitely you can order once a month and then approximately 10 days later i'll be able to dispatch your orders out to you um, don't worry if um you know if, if you're buying one of the um block of the months don't worry that if you buy it next month's is going to be a slightly different colour. That's not going to happen. Um, I've kept the first panel from every run, uh, every new product. I keep the very first panel and that I will use to colour match against every order, every future order that I send out. So don't worry, you can order a, a block today and you could order another block in 12 months time and your red is still going to be the same red. It's all colour matched. Hand cut as well, all nice and square, no skew with bits. And of course, in every order, you also get your tea bag and uh, a couple of biscuits just as a little treat. So that when your parcel drops through the letterbox, you can open it up, uh, pop the kettle on, do yourself a nice cuppa. Have a couple of biscuits as you read through the instructions and then get cracking. I hope you've enjoyed um, the, the quick look through the, the products that I took with me this time round on John's show. I'm back again on the 17th of November with the B block, which is the best of all block, again in the traditional and the modern colourway. Hopefully I'll have the sampler quilts completed to take along too. So going forward, I promise I'll try and be a bit more active on social media and I'll post sneak peeks as and when I manage to, to get them done. I'll also get those tutorials posted on or around the 11th of November for you. They'll be free to access whether you've watched John's show or not, whether you've ordered a product or not. It's just there for, for, for everyone. So thanks ever so much for watching um, and I'll see you on the 17th of November, if not before. Take care. Bye.